If you stream from your PS5 and you want to start using a webcam, the Sony PlayStation 5 webcam is the only webcam you can use, especially if you're streaming directly from your console. Other webcams will not work. So before you buy this webcam, let me go ahead and tell you all about it. Let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and take a look at this webcam. So the webcam plugs into the back of the PlayStation 5 and it automatically picks it up. So you don't need to install anything. Has a pretty nice built quality similar to the PlayStation 5 and you get 1080p quality, which is pretty impressive. And then it does have an adjustable stand to mount it on your monitor or your TV. You only get a small range of motion with it, but it gets the job done. So let's go ahead and jump into the PS5 and see how this webcam looks. So on your PlayStation 5, you can come to settings and then you wanna scroll down to where it says capture and broadcast. And then under broadcast, you wanna to come to where it says camera. And once you go ahead and press camera, it's gonna go ahead and bring up the actual camera. So you can see here that the picture quality is pretty decent. It's not the best, but with proper lighting, you can get it to look pretty good. I'm using two lights to be able to go ahead and light myself right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features that you get here. So the initial thing you can do is with the size, you can adjust it to be medium or be small. So you can decide on that. Now the clipping mask, this is where I thought was pretty cool. So you have the ability to be able to remove your background without an actual green screen it's not the best but let me show you what that looks like it's called auto key so you can select auto key and you'll see it'll do its best to remove my background it's not the worst but it's also not nowhere near close to being the best and then you can kind of adjust it here to make it as good as possible as you can but for the most part auto key is not the greatest you also have the ability to do a hex cutout which allows you to be able to also crop out some of the background you can do a square cutout you can do a circle cutout so again you can adjust the camera and be in a position where it's like, okay, cool, my background's time taken out. So I love the fact that you're able to kind of adjust that. Now, when you do have a green screen, it does do a pretty good job with good lighting. So let me show you what that looks like now. So once you have a green screen behind you, if you come back to where it says clipping mask and you scroll down to chroma key, you're gonna see here that if you adjust the level, you're gonna see here that it did a pretty good job of removing the background. So now I don't have to worry about what's seen behind me. So the green screen does do a good job, even if you don't have the green screen properly lit. I and mean, again, you wanna make sure your green screen is lit as much as possible for you to be able to get the most out of it. So that is what it's gonna look like with the actual green screen. Then of course, you have the ability to change your brightness, your contrast, your transparency, to be able to go ahead and utilize this. Now, there is a thing that I don't like about this camera, and I'm gonna show you that here in just a few moments. So you can do picture in picture, meaning that you can have your webcam and your gameplay show up on stream. So the only issue that I have with the picture in picture is that when you are streaming with it, you are not able to remove the camera from showing up on your monitor. Let me show you what it means. So you wanna load up a game to be able to begin streaming on the console since it doesn't let you stream from the dashboard. And then once you have a game up, you wanna go ahead and press the create button. And then you wanna come to the side where it says broadcast. We'll then go ahead and select broadcast options. Then we wanna make sure you select display camera. And then we wanna simply select go live. Now it's gonna go ahead and ask you where do you wanna place your camera? And once you do this, you have to keep it there. So let's say I wanna adjust it here in this position here. Once I'm here now, you're not gonna be able to change this. Now, like I said, it's up on my monitor. So typically you would want this to just be on your stream so your stream can see you, but it's on my monitor right now. So it is blocking all the additional stuff that you see, additional content, theme of the day, everything that's behind me, I can't personally see either. And that's the only thing that I don't like about this. But like I said, it's a pretty decent quality with the right lighting. Now, a few things you wanna know about this webcam is that it's not going to work with your PS4. It does not work with VR and you're only able to utilize it to stream to both Twitch and YouTube, which is directly inside of the console. So you can't use it on your computer. Now, there are some things I wish the PlayStation would change to make this webcam better, such as the price, but the ability to remove the background, as you saw, is pretty decent. The ability to be able to record and stream with the webcam is clutch, and the quality is not that bad. Now, again, until PlayStation allows us to use a different webcam, it's gonna be the best that we have at the moment unless you start streaming with a capture card and a PC. Now, if streaming is not for you and you want to be able to record your gaming content directly on your PS5, go ahead and watch this video right here where I show you how to go ahead and record your gameplay on your PS5 without needing a PC. I'll see you guys in the next video.